In this video, you are going to learn the top five best Shopify apps that you need on your store to make more sales, have a higher conversion rate, and also just make more money in your bank account. What is poppin' everybody? Your boy is now back in town. So in this video, we're going to do a top five sort of countdown from five to one on my favorite Shopify apps that are a little bit under the radar. You might not have heard of them before, but that's perfect because now you're going to get the opportunity to increase your conversion rate and have so many more sales on your store. So basically, we're gonna talk about the app, we're gonna walk through it, set it up, and tell you how you can maximize your performance with the app as well. Wait, 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 wait. Before I get into my guitar solo, let's get into the first app on our list. Now the first app on our list is Abandonment Protector. Oh my goodness, will this save your bacon, save your cheddar? Because basically what this does is if somebody abandons cart or they abandon checkout for whatever reason, maybe their dog ran away, maybe their popcorn was on the stove too long and it was burning up the place and the smoke alarm went off. If someone abandons checkout though for any reason, Basically what Abandonment Protector will do is send out automated emails to your customer reminding them that, hey, you know, you checked out, you checked out these products, maybe you wanna give us a shot. Here's just a quick reminder, you can send them discount codes as well. And I'm gonna show you a three email sequence that has worked really well for one of my brands. Now we're gonna hop on down to the automated email section, go to abandon checkouts. Now you can offer more than three emails, just for me personally, I just do three because six is, uh, that's a lot of work, oh my God. But we're gonna edit these email templates and these work extremely well. Now with all of my emails, I always have the logo of my brand on the top, but you're gonna notice with this email, I don't because I don't want you FBI agents going to my brand, stealing what I'm doing, so I have removed it. And also with this brand, it is for men and the whole sort of personality and brand story is that, you know, we're kings, it's royal nation. So with all my emails, I don't actually say, hey Ethan or hey David, I say, hey King. Oof, just adds more personality to it. That's what I like to do with my brands, and that's what the best brands in the world do. They don't just keep it generic and have no personality or flair to them. But what you can do in that it's instead, if you don't want to, is you can do hey, and then you can add a keyword. So you can do, scroll down, hey client name. So in this case, it would do, hey Ethan, you left something behind on your journey of our store. We noticed you were halfway through ordering, but didn't end up completing it. Still interested in ordering the perfect accessory or you know whatever you're selling. So the perfect product, the perfect clothing item, the perfect problem solver, you know whatever it is, make sure your emails are specific towards your brand. You don't wanna be the most generic brand ever, even if you're running a general store. And then I have a product name, I have finish order, and this is all in the colors of my brand. And then finally at the bottom, I do best wishes, Ethan Dobbins, founder and it's a very simple email I don't recommend just going overboard and writing a whole Russian novel to your customer about why you're so great and why they need to you know return back to their cart that's not gonna convince anyone people hate reading so keep it simple keep it short and have lots of good photos in the emails and at the bottom if you're running a brand that's primarily towards women or you know it's towards a specific gender I always recommend having the person that actually sends the email have the same name as the gender. So if I'm running a brand and it's towards females, it's female handbags, I want the email to come from a woman. So I would do Sarah something like Sarah Silverman. Yeah, famous comedian, Sarah Silverman. And then you can do head of customer support. So if I'm doing this geared towards women, Sarah Silverman, head of customer support. And if my brand is towards men, I want to have a male name. So you wanna make sure with your emails, all of them are coming from a gender that actually makes sense and is geared towards your desired audience. So I've customized this next email for you guys just to check it out. So I did, hey, client name. So, hey, Ethan, how would you like your own 15% off discount code? So I do special offer inside, 12 hours only, and I send this three hours after the first email has been sent. So I have this nice little graphic that I made in Photoshop. It's just a normal photo from Pexels, and then I added some text, and I'll show you exactly how to make one of those. I know, pretty bougie, right? It looks really professional. I've seen a lot of big brands do that, and it just looks so cool to me. So complete your order in the next 12 hours, use discount code EFI blah, blah, blah. And if you have any problems or are questions about a certain product, feel free to respond to this email. I mean, how professional does this look? 
And we got the final email coming in last. So last chance to get 15% off your order. As you can see, we got another really, really cool banner image sort of going on there. So last chance for 15% off. Complete your order now and use the discount code blah, 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 blah. I mean, really simple. But man, does it look good. And this is exactly what the best brands in the world are doing. So we're gonna go into Photoshop right now and I'm gonna show you how I took this image and basically made it into this. So what we're gonna do is play around a little bit with the darkness with the images because when we want text to stand out, we don't wanna have the background and have all of these bright colors. So we wanna really increase the darkness sort of going on. So we're gonna just darken it up a little. And I believe with the grays, we also made it a little more gray. So this is in Photoshop, this is levels. And then also what you can do is go to hue and saturation and then turn down the lightness. There we go, like that. And we can also make the colors stand out by doing vibrance. Vibrance is awesome, really makes colors pop out. You see how that leopard print's just popping out? So if I drag it to the left, it's all gray and depressing. But then, oof, look at that. That's beautiful, leopard, cheetah, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna do it like that. And then we're right now in the crop function. So we're gonna go to text. And then what did we do here? We did last chance for 15% off. Okay, so let's do that right now. Last chance. I'm just gonna mash on my keyboard to get the code, honestly, because that's what I did when I came up with that first one. So the font I'm using is Bayboss New. It's really amazing. I use it for my thumbnails on my YouTube videos. I use it for everything. It just looks really sexy in my opinion. So we're gonna basically now just drag this text up. This is how I always do it. Oh my goodness gracious. That looks really good. And then we're gonna highlight the discount code and then we're gonna change the color to the purple. Now I don't have the exact purple color. I do have the code, but uh, just for time purposes, we'll just uh, make it a little bit better. So we're gonna go to purple and we'll do that. That's pretty similar. So last chance for 15% off. Let's drag this puppy up. So how similar is that to this? Pretty much identical. I might have cropped it a little bit more, and I think that's actually what I did. So I might have to crop this just a tad bit down, because I really want to emphasize the text. The text is where it's at. So we're gonna do that. Increase this puppy, just like that. And bada bing, bada boom. That is looking sexy. Let's just back out a little bit. Now, obviously there's ways to make the text stand out more, so what we can do is add a drop shadow to it, and that's gonna make it really come to life. All right, so we're in drop shadow. Usually multiply is gonna be the one that makes it stand out more, but I always recommend playing around with the different sort of colors, but multiply usually is the one that will get you the best result. Now for text, I always do 90% for the angle, just straight on, don't do anything else. Distance, I usually do five, and then size, I do five, and spread, I usually do zero. But as you can see, the text is just coming alive right there. You can see the little dark sort of shadow outlines coming on. You can also do an outer glow if you want. And look at, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my God. Look at how beautiful that text looks. Guys, I'm sorry, that's sexy. Coming in at number four is Easy Tabs. Now, basically what this does is organizes your product description. So if you have multiple parts that you always add to your product description, like at the bottom you do shipping times, well, you can organize it a lot better, make it so much more concise, and a lot of great brands do this. So for my necklace jewelry brand, I do a caring guide because people wanna know how do I take care of my jewelry, make it last longer. I have shipping times, a size chart, and customer reviews. So if we click edit on one of these, basically we can just see all the different options. So this is the size chart. I have a nice little photo of this guy here showing off all the different sizes. And you can assign these tabs for different collections. So I just have this for my pendants, for my necklace, for my chains, but I also sell rings. So it doesn't make sense for me to have a necklace size chart in the rings section. So I have different size charts for different collections. So you can do that by just going assign to choosing products, collections or tags, and then you go down. So you go to your collections that you want to assign to, or if you want to assign it to a specific product, you can do that as well. Now again, I would love to show you, you know exactly how to do that, but then I would reveal my brand and I don't want to do that. So you also have Shopify reviews, you have Luke's reviews that you can import from. I mean, it's such a great app and I'll show you what it looks like right now. 
So right now we're on one of the product pages of my brand and basically as you can see right here in the description and details, look at how nice that looks and I mean when you format it like this it's so much easier to read, oh my goodness. I would love to show you the caring guide but that shows the name of my brand. So we got the shipping times right here, looking sexy, we got the size chart we talked about and then we got customer reviews. I haven't imported any yet but once I do it'll show up right there. It's so easy to use and look at how beautiful that's formatted. I mean come on. But hey, real quick guys, if you want a whole tutorial on how to actually design a website from scratch, I do have a 37 minute tutorial which goes into finding products and designing a website in front of your eyes and it's so beneficial that you guys know how to design a highly converting brand from scratch. So if you want to learn how to do that, I have a great tutorial that will show you exactly how to do that. Link in the description down below or in the cards, I think it's on this side, for you to check out. Now coming in the rear at number three, it's Sticky Add to Cart Booster Pro. Now if I was to really sell you, get my old briefcase, get my hat, and I was going door to door selling you on why you need this app. Basically what I would say is it makes your website more user friendly and it increases the likelihood of somebody purchasing. Because if somebody is on your product page and they're scrolling down and they're scrolling down and they're like, oh, okay, now I wanna purchase, you would be surprised how many people are like, oh, I gotta scroll all the way back up to the add to cart button. But with this app, basically what it does is it follows them. So you see this add to cart right here and you can make it shake, you can do whatever you want. Personally, I don't make it shake because it just looks a little bit spammy in that way. But you can do what you want, play around with it and see what gets you the best results. So you can play around with the text of the button. So if you want to make it white, you can do that. If you want to make the whole sort of outline different, so you can do, you know, red, you know, whatever you really want to do, you can do with Sticky Add to Cart Booster Pro. You can really customize it to your heart's content. But it's a great app. It makes the user experience so much easier. And any way that you can make the shopping experience easier for them to actually go to checkout and purchase is something you want on your website. Now number two is a really simple app that everybody needs because loading speed is surprisingly one of the most important factors people care about. And it's not something that we'll outright say, but it's something in our subconscious, in the back of our brain. When we're loading a website and it takes longer than four seconds, we just stand there on our phone and we're like, Ugh, hurry up. I mean, we can't wait nowadays. I mean, they say a fish has the average attention span of about nine seconds. I believe humans nowadays might have about a two second attention span. Because if that website doesn't load immediately after I touch that link, then by God, there is no way I'm gonna spend money there. Too slow, not in my house. I want Ferrari-like speed with my website. So in order to achieve that, what you can do is download crush.pix. And basically what it does is it takes all the images on your website and it compresses them. It makes the size from here all the way down to here. It's like one of those clothing sort of bins where you take the air out and it makes the clothes smaller so that you can actually like fold them and make your closet neater. And it even gives you a little report at the bottom of all the data it saves from your photos. I mean, 46% saved, 12% saved. So my website is getting 10% faster as we speak from the original point at which I uploaded my product photos. So this app is gonna save so much time, make the user experience easier. So you're noticing a little bit of a trend. Any app that makes the user experience easier, more friendly, and you know, honestly, just more enjoyable, is something you want on your website. So Crush.Pix, I believe it's like $5 a month, nothing crazy, but it will definitely make a difference in your performance of your website. And the final app on our list is SMS Bump. I know so many of you have already heard about this app, but it's such a must have if you've never heard about it. It's easy to install. And really guys, email marketing is something that is dying down. It's not as you know high performing as it was back in those good old 1990s and Nirvana and you know Pearl Jam and whatever you crazy kids are listening to. So you can go to automations and right now set up different text messages for when somebody abandons cart on your website. So right now I have three abandoned cart messages sent out. I honestly should have a whole tutorial on how to do this. So I'm just gonna show you one of my text messages cause you know, your boy's lacking in the content department. I need every single video I can squeeze out. 
So I'm gonna show you the first one, but you saw I have three messages I usually send out. So in the first one, I say, hey King, we noticed there were some items left in your shopping cart. So if you wanna go back, go to your abandoned checkout URL. Now this is a very simple text message, but it works so freaking well. And if you don't wanna do, hey King, you can just do, hey, first name. So we go, boom, like that. And it's pretty much the exact default text message they already give you when you download the app. And I don't know why, but I've tested different offers, I've tested different, you know, wording, but the default seems to work the best every single time. I don't know what it is, but SMS Bump has done the testing for you, and this is what's worked the best. What it do, baby? Oh my goodness, how much value can Ethan give in one video? You know, we have to ask that question after every single video because it seems to be an endless amount. It's like an ocean that always replenishes. There always seems to be more things to learn. And we all know in order to make this go on and keep on running, we got to give it fuel. We got to give it knowledge so that we can keep on learning more and keep on growing our businesses. So as long as I have two legs and two arms and this brain up here, I will be delivering value to you until you die, until you stop, until you beg me for mercy and say, Ethan, I've learned too much. You're giving too much value out, man. And I will still give you more tips and tricks. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like down below. Your boy had his Instagram shut down. So we're trying to grow the YouTube channel to 5,000 subscribers. I would really hope if you can be one of those 5,000 and help us grow this brand together. And if you enjoyed, you know, you can always share it on Twitter or Facebook or, you know, wherever you want. But my name is Ethan Dobbins, and it has been a pleasure getting to entertain and educate you at the same time. Remember one thing, everybody. Stay humble and do numbers.